for this lesson we want to show the process to transfer a fixed asset uh, within uh, like with an intercompany transfer and the scenario for example could be um if you remember we we posted an equation to a tesla car <laughs> And it just happened that that car was assigned to that first company and it was uh, used there for some time. But now um, just an employee took the car and it drove the car to another company code. It may could be even maybe in a different country. And of course, all of this authorized because now the car should be used. Uh, it has been agreed that it should be used in a different um in a different uh, company code and the point here is that we need to transfer the value we need to transfer everything actually it's going to be um, a retirement on the original company code and an acquisition of course like in the in the new company code that is the uh, end effect of uh, just transferring but what's also interesting we but uh, a price has been agreed like a transfer price so we'll also see how that factors in so well, for this, we have to come to operational processing, of course. And we will start the asset transfer intercompany app. OK, let's enter our company code here. So we can set up what is the asset that we will transfer. OK, so here we need to discuss just very quickly about master records, because at the, in, here at the, at the top we have to enter the asset in the original company code um, um, that is going to be transferred but what's important is that always when we are transferring uh, at the bottom as you can see we always need to set up a receiving master record to say it in a way so um, it could be an existing asset if we have already created that asset in the in the receiver company code but most of the times we don't have that so we can use this uh, up to create the asset master record um, just from this screen so well that is what we want to do uh, so well first let's enter the id of the tesla car okay now we need to set up the transfer date uh, and of course well, this is going to happen like in the future let's say the last day of the current year Remember the Tesla car, uh, we posted an acquisition for that, but in this year. So, well, let's just say we uh, enjoyed di driving the car for some months, but now at the end of the year, we need to transfer that to another company code. Uh, as we said also, um, we we mentioned this, that um, a transfer price was like agreed and that the value is 40,000 euros. And that's it. Now we need to enter the company code that receives the asset, which is, well, the ID is 1010. And we need to create a new asset there because we don't have an existing asset that can receive the values. So, well, we select new asset and then we just click here, master data. Now the asset class, well, the system assumes it should be the same asset class, which is correct, it's, it's a vehicle. And uh, even the description, it's 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 fine, it's correct. Um, but what we need to specify, it's a new cost center because well, in that uh, new company code, uh, we want the depreciation for postings, for example, to be posted in a different cost center. So let's just enter the ID of this cost center, which is for research and development. Okay, now we have all the values correctly set up so we can just click uh, here but create and now everything has been set up correctly for our transfer so we can just post and of course the system will just uh, give uh, will just show all the documents that were created why so many well because we have uh, first two company codes so we have documents we need to have documents in both but also because one's like the retirement the other one is the acquisition and also of course the system just will uh, show uh, like for us it will uh, give to us this uh, id of the um well the the id of the new master record that was created in company code 1010 in the receiver company code so well after we have just seen this we can just uh, accept this message 
and with this we can quit the app but of course we invite you to uh, stick with us and just check the next one because we will see the consequence in the master record and in the values for both assets so thanks so much and we'll see you there